Hey, who's that? That's real. I heard she's a master of metal mancy and has the powers to control and form metal to her will. She can even crush soldiers in her own armor. Look there, she's transforming the metal. Hey guys, it's Hypersugar, and these are the metals in the periodic table of elements. And this is a very serious guide on how to play Rel. I'm the happiest girl in the world. They finally did it. After a boy on a yeti-like creature in a Disneyland relationship, a fierce Freljordian war mother, and a crackhead Yordle on a lizard, we get another champion on a mount. And no, I'm not counting Corky and Rumble because they're piloting a vehicle and Quinn is just kind of hanging on Valor. The only difference is that Rel's mount is also her armor. So she's some kind of medieval knight full metal alchemist metal bender transformer with a lance and hair that looks like a sunflower. Rel's basic attacks steal 10% of her target's armor and magic resist and deal magic damage based on the amount stolen. This is also stacks, so she can steal from multiple targets and get extremely tanky. Move away with Malphite, Maokai and Cyan, Rel is here to become the tankiest tank in the game. Stealing stats by stabbing her victims with her lance creating some weird vampire stat sucking shish kebab. It's not her first time taking power from others too. Oh, you want me to explain? Well then it's time for a lore speedrun! <laughs> Born to a Noxian soldier and an agent of the Black Rose, it was discovered Rel possessed unique metal bending powers. This would be a great weapon to use against Noxus's biggest enemy, Seraph Mordekaiser. You know, since he's metal. <laughs> Turns out Rel was incredibly strong, so her teachers decided to fuse her with the powers of her fellow students, leaving only empty zombies behind. Once she realized what was being done to her, she got very angry, tore the place down, and now terrorizes Noxus as the Iron Maiden. So basically, a young person blessed with unique magical ability gets abused by the higher powers of the Empire until they realize the malicious reasons behind it, so they turn against it and then become a wanted criminal fighting that same Empire. Yeah, I feel like I've uh, heard this story before. Rel's Q is Shattering Strike. Rel stabs her lance forward in a line, destroying damage mitigating shields before dealing magic damage and applying her passive to the first target hit. It's like medieval jousting, but instead of breaking the lance, she's breaking down. the shields. Enchanter support AoE shields, punctured. Sets Haymaker, pierced. Your protection, penetrated. 87% of my viewers, not subscribed. All jokes aside, if you are enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe. If Rel is in range of her bonnet ally with her E, Shattering Strike will also heal her and the ally for an amount for each enemy champion hit. I'm on the horse, motherfucker! Take a look at me! While on her metal horse, Rel gains bonus movement speed and can activate Metal Mancy to leap to the target location, transforming your mount into armor, dealing magic damage, and knocking up enemies in the impact area. And on top of that, she also gets a shield. When dismounted, Rel walks slower than Internet Explorer in 1995 and pretends to be an ice hockey goalkeeper with a full diaper. But also, she gets the THICK ARMOR TIES! Granting her bonus armor and magic resist. So when you go charging in, you better be ready to fight and either win or die a hero's death. Because once she's dismounted, the Iron Maiden is too slow to run to the hills. Hey, is that an Iron Maiden reference? No, really. Rel is supposed to be a vanguard tank. An offensive tank that leads the charge for their team and specializes at getting the action started. Except Rel's W animation is so slow and telegraphed that champions with knockups or displacements like Trash or Janna can just knock her out of the animation, completely nullifying the engage, making Rel more of a I'll try to engage and then just send her in the middle of the fight with zero movement speed and even slower attack speed. Please, why didn't I just pick Leona instead? Mounting backup gives Rel bonus movement speed for a few seconds, empowering her next strike of her lands to deal bonus magic damage, stun and fling her enemy over her shoulders into the waiting hands of her allies. Combining this ability with flash makes for a great surprise knockup, allowing you to catch unknowing enemies of guard and throw them into your team. <clears throat> Can I just quickly mention that I love Rel's joke emote? I mean, look at it. I'm just wondering why she's staring like that.
There's nothing that gives more protection than throwing metals onto your ally. Attract and Repel is Rel's E and allows her to bind herself with an ally champion, forming a bond that gives the ally bonus armor and magic resistance as long as they are in range of the ability. She can also reactivate the metal, exploding the bond around her and her ally and also in the line between them, dealing magic damage and stunning all the affected enemies. And the enemies are basically getting impaled by the floating metal parts until they are unable to move. Yeah, that sounds really painful. Cold as iron! Channeling her inner Magneto, Rel creates a gravitational force field around her, pulling in all nearby enemies, dealing magic damage to them and continually dragging them towards her. Use the magnetic forces to create a mobile choke point for your allies to rain down damage while the enemies hopelessly struggle to escape. The force is so strong that Rel can even drag enemy champions out of their splash arts in the loading screen. Become a magnetic engage and ult while in mid-air with your W, pulling in everyone around you and then setting up for a knock-up and then possibly a stun with your E or just use it as a protective tool to keep the nasty assassins and bruisers away from your carries. Imagine Rel going on a vacation to Paris to just walk past the Eiffel Tower and drag the entire 324 meters tall building across the streets. Now that you know all her spells, it's time to go in some- You can use the W jump to get over the small walls and additionally when near an enemy at the other side of a thin wall you can also use your dismounted W dash attack to leap over the wall. Your Q doesn't deal a lot of damage, so make sure to use it wisely to either apply your passive on a ranged target, heal an ally or most importantly break an important shield. Your positioning is also really important on Rel. Make sure you get the most of your E by using it on an engaging ally or drop it on one of your backline allies while you stay more in the front. That way you create a line between the front line and the back line, allowing for a bigger stun on multiple enemies and therefore more zone control. You might need some time to get used to her playstyle and maybe she requires a bit of quality of life changes to make her feel less clunky, but all things considered, Rel is an interesting champion with a fun mount mechanic and a lot of crowd control and ends up being a nice addition to League's tank champion pool. So yeah, now you know everything you need to know to lead your team into battle with Rel, the Iron Maiden. If you want to see more guides like this, please leave a comment down below and let me know what champion you would like to see next. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my content, it really does help out the channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it took quite a while to make another one, but oh, it took 6 months. Ooh, you suck. I know it took quite a while to make another one of these, but they simply take a lot of time to finish. The small bits alone already take a while to edit and put together, and writing the script and doing the research also keeps me busy for a while. But I hope it was worth it. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Let's try that again. Hi, I'm Rel.